Hey guys, Jeff with OptionBoxer.com. Have a little different video for you today, so let's get right to it. First, I'm not a registered financial advisor, and this video is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security, place any trade, or attempt the information provided. Please be sure to do your own research prior to trading. In today's video, I want to talk through the process I use to create my own automated custom backtest directly inside Thinkorswim, which you can see on the screen at this time. I'll use the back test I created, but this information can be adapted to use with any indicator, entry, or exit trigger you prefer. Just be sure to follow along until the end so you have a better understanding of how ThinkScript works. But don't worry, I won't get very technical and most of the coding is already available inside the platform. With that, let's move step by step through the process I use to create this custom bullish back test. First thing we're going to want to do is clear the chart. Let's remove any indicators that we have already on our chart. We want to start with an absolutely blank slate. You can see now I've got a chart that's absolutely blank. Once everything is clear, I'm going to start by adding the 9 EMA line to the chart. So I'm going to simply go up to the beaker icon under studies, search exponential. And it should come pre-populated with the 9 period setting. I'm going to apply that line to the chart. You could also edit it if you wanted to change the color or something there. I'm happy with the blue. This is the trigger line for the strategy I use, so it's nice to see it on the chart along with the back test. Uh, next, you'll want to click the Studies tab, so make sure the Studies tab is clicked here. Look for the floating PL. That's simply going to add up all the trades that this back test is going to identify and give us a total PL. I'll also click strategies and find the profit target LX. So if you click on strategies here, I'm going to find the profit. If you just type in profit target LX, I'm going to add that to the screen. So once you've added the profit target LX, make sure you get the LX version, not the SX. LX stands for long exit. I've already created the strategy, so I'm going to go ahead and add it to my indicators and my studies here. And if I click this little scroll icon, you can see the code that I'm using and I'll kind of walk through this. It can be copied at optionboxer.com with the link in the description. Basically, we're telling Thinkorswim to buy to open 100 shares when the pr uh, opening price is below the 9 EMA. You can see this listed here. When the opening price is below the 9 EMA and the closing price is above the 9 EMA. You may also notice the displace function, which is this right here. This is necessary because Thinkscript won't identify the exact day this crossover occurs. Rather, what ThinkScript does is it identifies the instance it occurs, then issues the entry signal at the opening of the following day. Well, we don't want the following day. We want the day that it actually occurs. So by inputting the displace function, we can essentially tell Thinkorswim to look at the day before the entry signal is painted or the day the crossover actually occurred. Hopefully that, that makes sense. To do this, click Strategies, then Create. So you're going to have to create your own. When you go to OptionBoxer.com, you'll just copy this code. And then you'll come here, click on strategies. I'm going to go ahead and delete this out of here. You'll click on strategies and then click create. You'll just replace what's already in there with the code and you'll give it a name. I just gave it bullish strategy. You may also want to look through the predefined strategies as many of them are quite good. So if you look through here, if, you, if you're not familiar with this, if you look through here, there is num a number of strategies that some of them are really, really quite good. There was one that I used for a long time. It was the three period divergence, I believe. And I, I found relatively good success with that one. But you can try out all of them. Um, if it has the LX already appended to the strategy, that means the long exit is already included in there. And you wouldn't need to add the profit target. Uh, but that brings me to my next point. We need to add the stop loss function to our chart. Click the strategies and search stop. So if you just type in stop right here. And I'm looking for the stop loss long exit. So I'll simply add that to the chart. Once you've added the stop loss, make sure you go through and edit the, stra the strategies here so that all, all the parameters meet your criteria. We don't need to mess with the moving average exponential. So the first thing we're going to edit is the profit target. I, don't, I want something a little more than a, a 0.75%. So I'm going to make that about 3.5%. I like to keep my stops a little bit tighter and my profit targets a little bit tighter. If you're more patient than I am, you may want to set this a little bit higher. But I leave that at 3.5. I'm going to go ahead and set the stop loss next. Let's set that at 1.5 and keep in mind this is 1.5% or 3.5% of the stock price. The last thing we need to do is on the bullish strategy, you may remember we talked about this displace function. We need to make sure that we're telling Thinkorswim or ThinkScript in this instance to displace it by one bar. You could also do negative numbers here if you wanted to, to look forward, uh, but I want it to look backwards by one bar. 
So we're going to displace it backwards by one bar. And just so you kind of see the function at work here, I've got it set to subtract the displace. If I just put in displace right there, or put in a plus sign possibly, um, then you could use the negative number, but I want it to subtract by one so that it looks one bar backwards. And once I do that, I just click apply and hit OK. And now we have our custom automated back test automatically here in Thinkorswim. And we can use this very, very quickly by just clicking on other charts. You can see a number of them perform better than others. Apple looks to be maybe one of the weaker ones. Uh, with every step complete, now is really when the fun begins. We get to find that perfect candidate to trade our new strategy on. Simply by clicking on the watch list item, we can uncover immediately whether the defined parameters would be profitable for the asset. In my experience, some stocks perform much better than others. There is, of course, no guarantee that this strategy will work going forward, but one other way I like to use the custom thinkorswim backtest is by scanning through my master list, which I've already got here on the screen, and it's just a, a list of pretty big companies. Master list to find an asset that is currently showing an entry opportunity. So basically what, I'm, what I mean by that is I just look for, you can see right here is an entry opportunity that neither the profit target nor the stop loss has been triggered. So if I was wanting to trade forward, you can see this strategy looks to have done relatively well considering the low price of the stock to buy 100 shares or to buy one long call option. Now may be a decent time because Ford is currently showing an entry trigger for a bullish trade. Um, they don't happen every day. Of course, you, you won't find a trade every day. When they do, it can be quite lucrative or from Ford here. Uh, one last thing before I close, you could create this exact same strategy for bearish instances if you were interested. To do so, you'll want to change the code above to sell to open and then use a stop loss SX and make sure it's set to buy to close. So really quickly, let's look at that. If you wanted to create a bearish strategy, let's say, you'd want to make sure this is set to sell to open. So in order to get bearish on the market, you're going to have to sell to open and then you're going to want to come back over to your strategies, type in stop. And then you would want to add the stop loss SX. And then you're going to want to make sure that that's set down here to close. So buy to close is what you want. So just make sure those things are, uh, are in there if you do decide to create this in a bearish fashion. Um, but that's, uh, that's really it. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you found value in it. If you did, please do consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Um, I hope you're able to put Thinkorswim's automatic bath testing to work for you in your own trading. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach me in the comments below. But until the next video, take care.